Hello, I'm Lelda Smith for the Capital Network and joining me today from Pan Asia Metals is its Managing Director, Paul Locke. Paul, welcome. Oh, hi Lelda, good to be here. Now Paul, Pan Asia Metals is focused on South, in Southeast Asia. What's your outlook for tungsten and lithium and what factors support this view? Well, they're both very different. Uh, tungsten's a critical metal, which means it's, it's uh, rare, uh, hard, difficult to find. Actually in the global peer group of tungsten projects, there's only three or four which we'd back right now, one being ours. The other thing about tungsten is that uh, China controls over 82% of the market, which means that it's very difficult for non-Chinese companies to secure a supply line of what's called APT, a derivative of tungsten. So being uh, operating outside of uh, China with a very good project gives us an opportunity to fill those order books. With the lithium project, uh, naturally, everyone knows about the electric vehicles and where that's taking us. Uh, the growth expectations, regardless of the current uh, environment today, are still very strong. Uh, we see a big place for all lithium companies to participate in that. We particularly like our lithium project because of the um, uh, peer group work on, on feasibility work and how that's delivering a far more cost-effective outcome to produce lithium carbonate. Okay, now your operations are based in Thailand, but we're here in Sydney. How has the coronavirus impacted the way that you're doing business or are likely to in the future? There was an impact for a couple of months, uh, but at this, at this point, uh, we're free to move and operate. It's a bit more difficult for foreigners, but having a local team and a full team in Thailand means that we can actually operate as we normally would, whether we're there or not. But um, uh, the coronavirus uh, will have some effects. I don't think any company can say there are no effects, uh, but because of Thailand's response to coronavirus, which was uh, on par with Australia, uh, we should be able to operate uh, fairly efficiently going forward. Okay, and finally, Paul, in addition to that low cost environment, what else do you think investors really should know about ASX listed companies that are operating in Southeast Asia? Well, Southeast Asia has uh, great geology, so that's important. You need to be operating where the geology is good. But the other thing is, uh, it's the proximity to markets. So Southeast Asia alone has a population of around 600 million when we combine the 10 ASEAN countries. Then if we include India and China, it takes us up to just under a half of the world's population. There's huge GDP growth there. Uh, so if we're operating near the markets and they're growing markets, we've always got a home for what we produce. Thank you, Paul, for those insights and all the best for your ASX listing with Pan Asia Metals. Thanks, Lelda.